Hello everyone and welcome to this series on how to draw iconic rock stars. Before we start, of course, if you could subscribe, that would be fabulous. Thank you very much. And also, ring the little bell icon if you want to know what's coming up next. Okay, well, the iconic rock star today is Frank Zappa. And I'm going to go straight into pen this time. Get a nice bold representation of the man, okay? And I'll start with the corner of his eye here. And quite kind of... Uh, expressive heavy lidded eyes and they come up like that and then kind of straight across like that and then curve down and a line like that and then the, this part here curves down more deeply than the other part so that comes around a curve there comes back up to that point there then the pupil of his eye fills the whole kind of space coming in there. A bit more than that possibly. With a bit of a highlight coming in there. Okay, I'll just draw the other eye now before we do the eyelids. The other eye starts here. Again, because I've got a slope. And this one kind of curves more over that way like that. Very thick eyelashes. Like that. And the bottom of this eye again curves down more quickly. And then it's come more or less straight as it curves up to meet that little line there. And then of course the pupil again filling the whole space. Comes in about there like that. With another little highlight up there. Okay, now let's go to the eyelids now. So Get that shape following that line there. That's quite deeply shaded in here. And this line kind of comes down the side of his nose to, to sort of accentuate the top of his nose. It's quite a long nose, sharp nose. Same here. There's the other side of the nose there coming up. Nice bit of shading. And the eye lid on top of that comes up, goes over like that. And underneath too, you're going to get quite a bit of shadow coming in there following that line of the bottom of the eye. And I'll be putting those in more deal detail later. I'm just indicating just now another one here. Deep shadow under the eyes like that. And eyebrows, very thick eyebrows. Come down to touch almost top of the eyelid here. And the top, but that thickness there comes up. I'm using a kind of dotted line to get the sensation of the hair. And that comes down just above here. And a few kind of straight hairs in the middle as well. Coming down like that. Same with this one here. That slopes up very close to the eyelid. Comes up like that. And then there's these kind of sketchy lines coming around to represent the hair like that. Okay, now we come up to the actual hair itself, which is very tousled and quite dramatic. And you'll get, uh, you know, kind of curls of hair going over his forehead like that. Probably a bit further down here, actually. Yeah, the one about here. I'm a bit too high there, but I'll. Merge that in with the hair as I go. Another one comes in, coming around there. And I can continue with the curls cascading onto his forehead here. Like that. And then around this side. And one here and a separate one in here. Another one coming around, almost to touch the eyebrows here. And then the curls coming down this side of his face too. And then all these kind of tousled shapes coming up to the top. This makes some of the his hair stand up at the top there like that. Great curls and twirls and things coming around the outside edge and tendrils. Coming out like that. 
separate ones coming through to join the mass of the, the main hair here and up here as well. Get these curls crossing over each other like that, coming down. You just continue down the side like that, using little loops and so on to suggest the great mass of curling hair that they have. Okay, so let's move down to the nose now. As I said, it's a kind of sharp, hot light nose. I come down to about here, and you just see the tip coming in about there. Like that, it's quite narrow. And you have one nostril here, the nostril coming in there. And a kind of straight line at the side of the nostril here. See, it's quite narrow. Okay, below that, of course, we have the iconic moustache beginning, very thick moustache, which comes out using, again using dotted lines, like that on the other side of his mouth. Comes out and like that, way over here. And the thickness, come down about there, and curves over down the side of his mouth. Like that. Imagine all the kind of thick hairs coming in and getting come down to a kind of rounded shape there. So a bit more there. Okay, and then it is a little bit of his top lip in there, but his bottom lip appears coming in like that. Below that, you have a little goatee beard. Just just below his bottom lip, coming about that shape there. You get that iconic zapper look already. And then just below that, with a long chin, straight across the bottom. And then up the angular, in the angular jaw, up to a point there. A bit of a cheekbone here and uh, straight down to meet the colour of the jaw there. This other one comes up like that and it starts to go up. And it, the hair, of course, comes over his face. It's about there. Curls, I'm carrying on with these curls now. Tendrils. Come in like that. And the hair continues down behind his shoulders. So just about here, you have the neck appearing there, and the other side of the neck coming in there like that. And we have a collar coming up around his neck there, and the shoulder appearing there like that. And as I said, the hair, this wild curly hair, curves way down like that. Some of it goes behind his shoulders, but other tendrils curve over the shoulders like that. Same with this one here. Extra curls coming in. And some loops coming in over there. Excellent. Now I've drawn it in. I'll get a, a broader a pen and we'll start to put in the black shading. Okay. Right, okay. Now I've actually extended the hair out on this side of it and this side too, so you get kind of almost like a diamond shape, like that. Okay, so I've got a, a thick pen now and I'm going to start to put in some of the darker shading. Nice thick eyebrows here. Again, you can use these short strokes, maybe leave bits of white to suggest the hair. Like that. Okay, then we come down to this uh, dark shading under here. Very dark there, and also nice thick dark line on the eyelid there. And the actual 
eyelashes themselves again very thick and the people come in there with that little highlight okay and accentuate that a bit more all right I've uh, done the same on that eye there let's move up to the, the hair now and get these uh, tendrils of hair over the forehead put in a bit more dramatically like that just outline your sketch lines that you've done already okay I'm going to continue to do that all the way around and I'll catch up with you when I've done it. Right, okay, I finished going around the hair now. So I'm just going to get a thicker pen and fill that whole area in. Okay, a big chisel tip pen now. And I'm not going to fill it in solidly black. I'm going to put it in, in a very kind of sketchy way. So again, following what I uh, think might be the hair, the way the hair is lying, you know, just use the flat end of the chisel to kind of suggest the hair like that. You know, when you see the hair curve like that, that would be your chisel tip up like that. You know, kind of fall up there. And then just join it all together with sketchy lines. And in that way, you can fill in the whole area and it'll look very lively. Okay, as you see, I've been working on the hair. It's very sketchily. It gives a sense of that tumbled mass of curls. Okay, by leaving little bits of grey and white showing through. Okay, now right, I'm going to move on to the um, nose and the moustache. So we'll just uh, outline that side of the nostril a bit more and then put the actual nostrils themselves in. And then the hair of the moustache. Now again, just use your pen in the way that the hair is lying on the moustache, like that, and then just kind of fill it in, like that. Okay, short strokes right down to that line there. Right, just finishing off the goatee now, and just under here, you have a bit of deep shadow. Just kind of doubling up the shape of the chin here, coming up like that. That accentuates that shape. Excellent, then you can put a bit of darker shadow around the side of the shirt here. There's shadow in there underneath the collar. And then you can just use your pen and sketch your strokes to suggest the jacket, the shoulders. Okay, excellent. There's a, a bold pen drawing of Frank Zappa. And I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you can join me again for another tutorial quite soon. But in the meantime, of course, all the best and happy drawing.